not bother you. Bother you. Today is April 9th, is it? Yes, it is. Oh shit, today is April 9th. <laughs> Today is April 9th, um, 2021. We're, I'm on my break. I got 15 minutes. Oh, is it? I got 15 minutes with you guys. The way a well of Jeff. I'm the light of the city. And I ain't on the label no more, but I'm tied up with Diddy. I got my own. And the mind's like a grown man. As long as I know I'm nice, fucking, I'm my own fan. Sheesh. It's Jitterkiss. Shout out to Jitterkiss, by the way. Damn, shout out to DMX. No, I repeat to uh, X Man. Dog Man X. DMX. It's unfortunate. I repeat to DMX. He passed away. I mean. Gave us the time to mourn him before he passed, so he kind of prepared us for this day. And that's just truthfully speaking, you feel me? He was a gentleman, even the way he passed. It's unfortunate. I couldn't listen to nobody else talk about X except for somebody who was, um, who had some form of wisdom and knowing how to articulate the words that come out their mouth. I just wasn't willing to accept trying to degrade him in any form of shape. I'm tired of that. You feel know I me? Mean? Like, people always talk down on people who are dead or about to pass away, and they started talking about his drugs and everything else like that. And I just refuse to hear it. And I like people, I like those people who I'm subscribed to, but I just, I'm probably have to unsubscribe saying people who didn't talk well of DMX when he was in the hospital and after he passed away. Saying things that you gotta know how to say and how to do. And especially I grew up off X and everything else like that. I wasn't gonna allow it. You feel me? I just wasn't gonna allow it. That was my man's in them. You know what I mean? I'm gonna have a marathon and just listen to his music. It's not, I was listening to his music before anyway, so. It's not like I'm not, I'm gonna listen to his music regardless, you dig? It's kinda sad, man. I still believe he was set up, whatever, you dig? Yeah, I believe he, it was all like, nowadays it's just a lot of fuckery that goes on. There's a whole lot of fuckery going on in the industry. They're just picking us off, killing us, and all that shit. I believe he was set up. I know that people be like, oh, you. I don't believe that shit. I don't believe whatever they want you to believe. I don't believe it. I don't want to believe the overdose story. None of that bullshit. That's a lie. Not me. You just gotta watch yourself, man. That's all. You have to watch yourself. That's why I was telling you, people, man. Once people see you doing sanitivities, there's a lot of cars out here. Once people see you doing sand activities, like, you know, you, if you're known for smoking and getting high, or you're known for drinking a lot, you only opening the door for people to attack you through these avenues or, or through these um, instruments. They're going to use that shit to attack you. You feel me? If, you, if you're a person who's known in the celebrity world, of getting high or you know you smoke a lot of weed and you're known for that yeah they're going they one day will use that against you he was high and he probably he crossed the street and the car hit him some some bullshit my nigga feel me so dmx has been known almost all his life for uh drugs and everything else like that and it's been a few times it's been a few times where he was close to these things so it's like you open the doors for these things to happen man feel me even Terry Crews. Terry Crews didn't have none of that shit on his record, and he still died for some bullshit. So it's like, even when you even take the advice that I give you, Terry Crews was an individual who was big. Man, for the season, is it Terry Crews or somebody else? You're gonna check this, so I'm not making it. I don't want these niggas having one on me. You can't have these niggas with any form of victory on you. You feel me? I swear. 
they would do any and every day. They niggas is crazy out there. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Even the flies is working for me. Just like, wait, don't, don't go to sleep. All right, maybe I was wrong. It's not Terry Crew. It was the other guy that acted in um, Green Mile. Let me see his name. Fuck you. Yeah. Anyway, he was big muscular individual he was he wasn't known for no drug or anything else like that he passed away so it's just you know there's a lot of fuck things happening you just gotta be careful even if you don't have uh, these alcohol problems all these um if you don't have, even if you don't have these alcohol problems or these um other problems that they can use you still gotta be careful the people that you surround yourself with you feel me because in these times man Shit, cray, cray. It's crazy out there. It really is crazy. Michael Dunk, Dunk, Duncan, um, Duncan, whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's his name. Yeah, Michael Duncan. He passed away in 2012 on some bullshit. But that's not the host. The story is about DMX. You feel me? I'm just saying, like, it's unfortunate that the man had to pass away the way he passed away. You feel me? Just unfortunate. You dig? But niggas gotta be careful. You feel me? You now I mean, we still gonna celebrate X. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter how he passed away. I still look up to DMX, you feel me? He was the highlight of a lot of times in a lot of people's career, you feel me? So we still gonna fuck with X. We're not gonna look down upon X. I don't care what they said happened, niggas, what I say happened. You feel me? It's, 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 it's how I look at him. It doesn't matter what he did on his last days, it's what he stood for. And I highlight it's an outstanding part of an event or a period of time. And if you take a look at the history of hip hop, yeah, DM is definitely highlight. DM is definitely highlight. He highlight uh, these moments in hip hop. A bright or reflective area in painting, picture, or design. Feel me? Let's see. was a highlight of um, of hip hop, you feel me? He stood for a lot. His lyrics, he was definitely underappreciated. It's unfortunate. He was too masculine, that's what it was too. And he expressed himself to the fullest. So I'm not crying now. That's not cry, it's just that it's grease. So sometimes I gotta wipe the grease up. You know, um, my complexion, every time I'm in the sun, it naturally gives the nat it gives me a natural grease. That's to every person that looks like me. You get the greasy nose and the greasy face sometimes. And we get this natural oil that comes out of us. I mean our complexion is rich is rich in nature, so sometimes I do get oily and everything else like that. That's why sometimes we are more likely to break out sometimes. So it's required that you know you just wipe your face sometimes. Even that grease that comes out your face and your pores is the same grease that they sell for the lip balm, the one you use for your lips and the lotions and everything else. We naturally get that shit out of our pores. But a lot of people don't know that. They might see it like, ew, you use, why are you rubbing that on yourself? I'm like, yo. You go into the store and buying these grease and I'm buy and I'm and I'm getting it for free and I'm using it on myself. So what is your complaint? Back to DMX. There's not really much I want to 
like to talk about exes, so yeah, it just it's sad, bro. I just don't. I don't know how to take the news. I really don't. I mean, it's like you expected it, but then they said he was doing good. He was on life support, all that bullshit. But I knew that. For some strange reason, I kind of had an idea that they was going to do something to him. These people was going to make more money off X dead than him being alive. And that's just the truth. They only see us as products. You feel me? I'm pretty sure they said a few people in the background, like, yo, this is, this, this is how much money you're going to make. You're going to make this amount of money. You're going to make this amount of money. And this, that, and the third. So it was like, X was going to make more money alive than dead. And that's just a fact. He owes mad money, child support to all his kids. He owes record labels. A lot of people cheated him on his record deals and everything else like that. You feel me? He was just an icon. People loved him regardless. Everybody wanted to be around him, but you just, you know, when you were light, you will attract a lot of people around you. I never said you're not going to attract bad people. You're going to attract a lot of people, good and bad. You feel me? So friends and foes, everything will be around you. That's what you're attracting. You feel me? And some people are just snakes. See, speaking of snakes. <laughs> Word up. You just got to watch it. Speaking of that, this morning I was coming in, there was a whole snake. I didn't even care to see if it was real or not. I didn't even care about them. Like, that shit is out of place. But it's unfortunate that we, I lost one of my favorite rappers. I've been losing a lot of favorite rappers lately. Where. I'm gonna stop listening to you too. I feel like they be watching my YouTube list and just picking people off. I really believe that. Even the fast said it. Yeah, they be picking people off on my list. So I'ma stop. So don't take it offensive whenever I stop listening to you, nigga. I'm saving your life, nigga. The fuck is wrong with you, niggas? <laughs> Music wise, I'm not even sure. They just don't want man to listen. I'm gonna just stay away from all this internet shit. Y'all just gonna see my recording and that's it. I'm not even gonna watch y'all shows. I'm only listening to people who have passed away. You can't kill a person who's already dead now, so you feel me? So that's what we gonna do. They just jealous of everything I do, man, I'm telling y'all. I know you be like, yo, this nigga's full of himself. I wish I was. I wish I was, you feel me? But I got 10 more minutes. Been hot out here. I'm watching myself. I'm watching. It seems like there's no way somebody can sneak up on me, right? I don't know how they do it, but they do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm still at work. Usually around this time of year, I probably I would have been left already. But I've been trying to change my shit a little bit. You feel me? I, I've been on my P's and Q's. I've been um I've been a little more obedient in how I move with the things that I do, you feel me? Getting rid of things that I don't need. It's it's not I don't stop from out here, I just keep getting better and getting rid of everything else, you feel me? I'm trying to better manage my money. You see this week they couldn't really get me like that. They got me on other bills, so that was enough. But They couldn't get me like that, you dig? The Robin Hood thing. I didn't cancel it. The money showed up, of course. Because I was on it, bro. I locked my account and everything. I was on it. It usually would have been showing up already, so this was out of place. So I'm like, all right, cool, cool. I'm paying attention to it, you dig? Because it kept on saying, even the money that said it was reversed, it was reversed. That didn't make sense because when I check my account statement, it says the money has been taken out. So I don't know how they changed in the title. It says it's, it's taken out by Robin Hood, 
but if somebody else was doing it, probably changing the title of it, and it, I don't know, it's like an intermediate account where the money's not going straight to Robin Hood, it's going to that account first, then I don't know what's going on, but it's like, I'm not going to do no more transfer. It kind of derailed my savings and um, the way I save. Oh shit, that was a bird. But it's okay. I'm not even going to, whatever I got in that Robin Hood shit, I probably, I'll leave it there, you feel me? I will leave. I will leave it there. I'm still going to be investing. I'm not. I'm just not going to do it the way I used to do it, by just transferring money without knowing and let the machine take care of it. I got to be on top of it. You feel me? I do got to be on top of it, and just do it manually myself. And that's all. I'm not going to stop saving because I have a few break-ins. No, I'm not going to stop doing that. That's not going to happen. I need to save. Even if it means starving myself, I'll do so. I don't care what niggas think about me. That's on them. That's the reason why I can have one job and still be okay. Because it requires discipline. So, niggas will laugh at you because you walking on the sidewalk. And I'm like, yeah, but bro, you're paying a lot of money for that car. You feel me? You dig? Like, I'm, I'm, re I'm more than. More than likely, I will get to that stage where I'm gonna need and I'm gonna need a car and everything else like that. But I know you look comfortable right now. At the same time, you can use that money for something else. You can be doing what I do. You feel me? But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. If I do get a car, I ain't hating. If I do get a car, I'm gonna use. Um, I can use that car for like a Lyft or Uber or DoorDash or something like that. You gotta, you, you gotta make that money work for you. Honestly, unless it's an old car, you just put a down payment on it and it's just getting you from point A to point B. You can't even get mad at that. You feel me? That's cool. That I cool. That's cool. You can still use that car for uh, um, other stuff like DoorDash, Grubhub, and everything else like that. So the car idea, it's not a bad idea at all. But I just don't like when people laugh at me when I'm walking on the side of the road. It doesn't mean that you should do it because I said I don't like it. They're going to start doing fake laughs and over exaggeration of happiness. It's like it's ridiculous. <laughs> Niggas be exaggerating like they, like, they, like, they, they, like they seriously in love and seriously over exaggerating their madness. And everything they do is over exaggerated. Filming, but yeah, the topic was X. X, baby, you see, so good, man. People, my last words before I go in, man. People who a hater can only attach himself to something that is great. You feel me? They can never be the people that they take away from us, they can never be those people. They can never fill in those shoes. It's impossible for them to fill in those shoes. So they always attach themselves to something that is greater than them. And they, they, they are cancer, man. I always told you, a cancer does not know he's part of the body until he eats away the body, then find out that it's killing its own self. By the time it, it finish doing what it needs to finish, it already destroyed itself already. There's no turning back now. You're dying with the body, the host that you're in. You feel me? Or a mosquito. Sometimes a mosquito, a lot of people don't know this, a mosquito will come and land on you and suck the blood, but the blood that it's sucking is, is the blood that's going to kill it. <laughs> so it's like it, 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 the concept of hating will never work. You see it in nature. You see it all around you. It never work. It will never work, but they still do it because they're addicted to madness. You feel me? What they got to do with X? I feel like there's a lot of niggas that hated on X. They hated on I, I believe it strongly that that man, there wasn't no drug over. It probably, I think they took his life, bro. I really do. You couldn't deliver X the way X deliver X. You feel me? It's like, I don't care if he was a delivery man. You couldn't deliver X. Like, X was X. You feel me? X, baby. <laughs>
but it is what it is, man. It's unfortunate we lost a great one. I don't care what he did, how many crack he smoked. He was better than most. He was better than most. He was better than anything I know of. You feel me? I still love you, X. You feel me? It's a lot of weed. People always want to smoke poor weed. I don't smoke weed. I don't smoke nothing. Just leave me alone, man. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Y'all got to get rid of all these things that they can use to docile you, to make you weaker, so that they can use, they can have an opportunity to get closer to you. You feel me? Your pills that you take, your alcohols and everything else. You have to try this. There's a war going on out there. You feel me? You have to get rid of these things from your body so they don't use these things as an instrument to play you. Literally. To play you. You feel me? So, we gotta be careful, man. For real, for real. We'll see what happened to DMX. He probably wanted to smoke some crack. But guess what? They lace his shit. Crack, they must have did some bullshit to his shit. You feel me? We, yo, we can be laced too. It might smell like we and everything else, but they can sprinkle some, you know, sprinkle a little bit of hate on it. You gotta be careful, you feel me? You got to be careful. Alcohol, everything else like that, they can put things in your shit. So you just gotta be careful. There's people out there who, they have to attach themselves to something that is greater than them. Like, you feel me? You might not see yourself as greater, but there's somebody out there who wants to be like you very badly. You feel me? Now, X probably like, yo, I have, Look, anyway, yo, um, like X probably thought, yo, I got child support, I got bills, I'm nobody. But somebody was out there who was envying X because S had all the love in the world. A lot of people love X. You feel me? It's ironic how somebody can love X. Because <laughs> the X is supposed to be something that you forget about. But he literally changed the term where people actually love X. You dig? But DMX, bro, that's what I'm talking about. But it is what it is, man. No, no pizza. It's over for the pizza life. But, um, yeah, I'm about to go in. But shout out to DMS. RP to DMS. You still live on through us and the memory and your music. You live forever. Okay. That's it.